What's up you guys? Today we're going to be talking about the cruise line stocks. If there's still a buy, if we're going to see a lower low, my predictions on the stock market at the moment and what I personally think we're going to be seeing in the next couple of weeks or months. All I ask if you just take five seconds of your time, hit that like button below. It really helps out the channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. So let's talk about either Carnival, Norwegian and Royal Caribbean. I'm going to be going on the computer right now to show you guys exactly my thoughts on the stock market and those cruise line stocks. So we have here on our screen Norwegian Cruise Line. It's been uptrending so far in the market to the five day chart. It has been uptrending for the most part. Yesterday it rallied crazy. It ripped up all the way from $14 all the way to as high as $18 after hours, which is nuts. I mean, if you look at this, this is about think about 25% gain if you look up here even more 34% gain I know I made a lot of money on this trade but for the most part we've been uptrending in the market because of earning reports I said this on my previous videos that we're gonna be uptrending in the market I personally think so this is the S&P 500 with all the earning reports coming out you know, Tesla just came out with the earning reports last night. All the most of the airline companies are coming out with their earning reports as well. Amazon should be coming out with their earning report by the end of this day, and a lot of other companies. As you can see, guys, we are on the 30th. American Airlines came out with their earnings report. It wasn't that good, but what we are coming out with by the end of this day is Amazon and Apple, which I personally believe Amazon's gonna come out with a great earnings report I'm not so sure about Apple at the moment but I do think we're gonna be uptrending in the market for the most part if you guys want to see earning reports I encourage you to check out earnings whisper their Twitter page basically has all the information so I do think we're gonna be uptrending in the market and if you want to be more bearish and you want to basically buy into the cruise line stocks I do think after this month we'll most likely see a bearish move i do think we're bound to see the spy hit close to 300 by the end of this week or by the end of next week we have the earning reports coming out like i said and we have been just uptrending tremendously in the market yesterday we went up very high as you guys can see here i've been holding on to basically mostly norwegian carnival those are my big stocks I'm holding on currently. I do think we're going to be uptrending to the end of this week. This is basically a swing trade that I plan on having. It went up very big. I made $24,000 within pretty much this week. And it, it just went up big time. I do think till the end of earning reports, we're going to see more of a bullish move. I would get more bearish and start selling off and looking for better opportunities after we hit the 300 mark on the S&P 500. After that, I do think we're gonna see more, uh, at least of a pullback, maybe to the 270 mark or around this area. I'm still bullish on the on the trend. I do think today we have been downtrending. You can see here pre-market we've been downtrending, but I personally think long-term within the next couple of days, we're still gonna be uptrending in the market. The economy opening back up there's a lot of things to factor in the economy coming back up. I personally bought a Tesla call on this downtrend here after they reported a good earnings report. I'm not sure how it's gonna do, but I bought a call here. I do expect it to hit maybe the 920 area. I just bought one call, but one call is pretty expensive for this price range here. I personally think they came out with a good earnings report and they're bound to see the 920 area. So let's go back to Carnival, Norwegian, and Royal Caribbean. As far as it goes, I personally am going to be staying bullish for the most part on Carnival and Norwegian until next month. The reason I'm saying that, like I said, is because of the earnings report. I'm, I'm basically just swinging these positions at the moment, swing trading them, just holding them temporarily. I do expect us to have a pullback in the market, at least a small pullback because we don't just keep going up like this. That doesn't really happen. We go up, it's usually a halfway retracement. You get a pullback, right? And then you go up again. This is an uptrend in the market, you know? 
So you always want to wait for that pullback if you want to enter. Don't get FOMO, fear of missing out, and buy at the top just because you see the market just uptrending. You're always going to see at least a pullback in an uptrend market. Always, regardless if we're uptrending in the market or if we're really downtrending in the market. We're always bound for a pullback. That's because, you know, when people take profits out of their position, it downtrends in the market. When people are covering their shorts in the position, it downtrends in the market. We're bullish in the market. We're uptrending. People taking profits here. Uh, shorts are, are getting in. Downtrend. And then goes back up. Maybe hits resistance here. Uptrends. This is an uptrend in the market, guys. So, I do think by us hitting the 300 level on the S&P 500 I do think that we're going to be a bit overextended especially in this bullish market that we're in right now but with all this good news coming out you can see why we're up, up so high everything's pretty much aligned you know the economy's opening up by the end of this month we have a lot of earning reports coming out by the end of this month so I think we're bound to see a 300 level and then as far as that goes, I would wait for your re-entry on Carnival, on Norwegian. As far as seeing lower lows, I don't think we're going to be seeing lower lows. The more more we go out through this whole pandemic, it's hard to say that we see lower lows. We might see us hit this channel again. It's very possible. And once we hit this channel again, it would be a good opportunity to buy in. That would probably be around, let's see, right here is around the $12, $13 range. That would be a good entrance to get in. And even then, even if you get in at $12, $13, February, right before we dropped this whole big drop, we were trading at $44. So even if you buy here at $12, it's not that bad of a trade. You're still getting in at a bargain. It would have been awesome to buy here at the $7 range, but I do think, you know, we are gonna see another opportunity to buy into this market at a low price. I do think at the $12 range would be good downtrending within the next month and that would be the good opportunity to buy in not right now you don't want to buy in right now and especially with all these earning reports coming out if you want to wait for the right opportunity I would wait for next month probably mid next month depending how the market plays out so we have carnival let's look at Norwegian cruise line and the thing I want to point out is that Carnival and Norwegian Cruise Line, their price action is pretty much usually the same, which is crazy to say. So when I see usually Carnival very high in price and Norwegian about a dollar less, by the end of the day, Carnival and Norwegian were around the same price range. Now Carnival dropped from 15 to 15.93. I don't know why, but Norwegian tends to follow that action. So we can see maybe Norwegian doing a small pullback. I'm personally still holding on to these stocks and I do think we might see the $18 range for these stocks before we start pulling back in the market. I'm going to be holding them on especially with Amazon's earning reports coming out. It might could be a good idea, it might not be a good idea, but I'm still bullish in the market at the moment until we see a pullback and then that will be the right opportunity to buy more stocks and load up more positions. So we had Norwegian Cruise Line here. I do think we're gonna be uptrending for the most part. Royal Caribbean, we might see more of a strong pullback and a re-entry to get around this area. The $39 area would be a good, um, I guess, oversold area to get start uptrending. And you know, this varies within week to week. So that's why I keep wanting to make updated videos on this topic because, you know, things can change so fast in this market, especially how we're going through this whole pandemic that economy's opening up. You know, if there's a vaccine in the market, we can be uptrending for, you know, two weeks straight. You know, it's all varies within all the information that we're getting from week to week. About, let's say two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was very bearish on the market. Now how we're uptrending in the market, I'm pretty bullish. Uh, as you know, the economy is coming back up and all these earning reports but I do think we're at least bound for a pullback or a downtrend in the market within the next month. If you want to get into the cruise line industry I would suggest waiting until next month, mid next month or probably the third week of next month. 
that's just my opinion on it. So hopefully this video helps you out guys whether you want to buy Norwegian, Royal Caribbean or Carnival stocks. Also let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys on the next video.